DPS is defined as damage per second, but in Genshin Impact, when you insert that acronym of DPS in front of a character's name, you're making a bold statement that within your team, that character should be doing the majority of damage to your enemies. The Elon is a hydro support character in Genshin Impact, meaning she shouldn't be doing most of the damage for your team. So how does someone like you or me create the best DPS Elon in Genshin Impact? Do you just get a credit card and start swiping away until you get C6 and a 5-star weapon? Do you pray for mercy in order to get godlike artifacts? Do you study the game mechanics and outscale the game? Or is it all the above? Well. Let us find out and see how to make the best DPS Yelon in Genshin Impact. Alright guys, so let's start off with the Yelon build. For weapons, of course, if you want the best, go for her signature, but... Do not spend more than you have to. For those of you that saw my pools video, <sighs> it's so sad. Anyways, for those of you that came from my C0 video, you already know, like, if you don't have this weapon, if you want DPS, go for the Sackbow. I prefer the Sackbow over Favonias. Favonias are for the people who are saying, like, Oh, Yelan's a five-star Shincho. Those people, they go for Favonias. Not you guys. Or at least not the people who want to DPS with her, right? Three star, of course. Finally, this bow is actually useful. The recursive bow. If you have that, use it. Because the attack doesn't matter. The HP is what freaking makes your damage go freaking big PP, you know? And if you haven't already, guys, triple count your Yelon. She absolutely deserves it. I have C2 because I tried going for C6 and it just failed miserably. So, smoge. I've concluded that there's two builds for Yelon. The first one is four piece Emblem of Serid Fate. And my best build is this goblet, this energy recharge sands piece, only because I have the five star weapon. So, I need ER somewhere. And we'll talk about ER later. And this flower right here with HP percent, crit rate, crit damage, and HP. Kind of sucks it rolled into flat HP, but it is what it is. That's just gotcha freaking artifact farming for you and then i have this feather right here i have chosen to make my circle and my off piece because i was looking through all my artifacts and it's just the best choice for me and because right now my crit ratio is 61 to 185 i have a circlet that has crit damage and some pretty good crit rate on it this one and it has hp and it has energy recharge and it has elemental mastery if i'm going for vaporize yelon so it's just a really good piece for my yelon the final ratio for this build is 77 to 247 with 178 energy recharge as well so it's not like we're lacking on the energy recharge department as well and since we have c2 guys let me go ahead and show you the rotation that i like to do with yelon hello my friend Mesonori. it's time for you to get freaking clap so i like to start out with my breakthrough barb through her skill and hopefully i reset my breakthrough barb and i did and do it again and did i reset it nope i did not reset the break to barb but yeah that's more or less what i like to do now if i have my burst up which you should have if you're doing spiral abyss it's a different thing so i'm gonna go ahead and reset masanori the thing about the break to barb it can only be reset passively if you're like not in combat if you're in combat you have to reset it by using her elemental skill that's why i like to start off with it because i give myself a better chance of resetting it because i believe it is only a 34 percent chance one third chance that you can reset it so let's do the break to barb elemental skill elemental burst hopefully i reset it Yep, I did. And then do it again. And did I reset it again? Yep, there you go. And then just go freaking ham. Just keep going. Although he doesn't know when to quit. He doesn't know he's outmatched though. Did I reset it? Yep. So we're seeing 14Ks, 9Ks, yep, that's it. We saw the damage, but I didn't see the damage. So, um, I'm not gonna, I can't record this after, I have to do it right now. All right, guys, I'm just gonna sit, look at my damage. What are we doing with our damage with all our kit with Emblem of Sard Fate? We're doing Mind be purged. with our bar. World okay. be saved. So, 30K with her elemental skill. AK, we start off with like AK and then we end up. Our C2 gives us 14k. And then our elemental burst goes all the way to 9.6, 9.9k, 10k. Goes all the way to 10k, so that's something to note. And our C2 gives 14k. But that's the rotation I could do with DPS Yelon. Like stopping a constellation 2 is good for DPS. I like it. Now the other build, if you have a two-piece tenacity and a two-piece heart of death, 
that's the best hybrid build you can put on her for me my best hybrid build is this flower it has 38 crit value pretty good i have this hp sense piece that's a 30 crit value as well my goblet will actually stay the same because that is my best hydro damage goblet for Yelan. So this is going to be the off piece. And then the other two pieces are going to come from my heart of death. I'm conflicted between these two. This one's giving me a lot of HP, which I do need for my damage. And this one has energy recharge, which helps with her uh, in her burst back up. And it has flat HP and crit damage and crit rate. But for now, we'll go with this one. And we can actually test this other flower right now in a bit. And then my circlet is actually going to be this one. Crit damage circlet. 1,100 flat HP and 10.5 crit rate. So it's kind of like... Before Yelan got announced, if I were to see 1,100 HP flat, I'd be crying. But it works for Yelan. I don't know if I'm just high on Copium, but it is what it is. 72 to 252. 121 ER. Now let's go test our damage again. See our damage. Richter Barb. 12k. Oh wow. That's like 4k extra. Elemental skill? 41k. Dang. That's 11 more k than last time. We're already starting off with the 9k. 15. Almost 16k with our C2. Yep, C2 is at 16k right now. 11k with our elemental burst. We almost ended up with 12k. Damn. One thing to note is we're definitely like getting our burst up slower than the other one, of course, because we have less energy recharge. Let me switch to this flower and test this damage. So we're losing a little bit of crit rate and crit damage. We're going from 35 max HP all the way till 39k HP. So that's 4k HP. Wow. All right, I break the barb is doing 13k HP. What? Wait, not HP. 13k damage. 45k on her elemental skill. Okay. Let's see if we can actually hit 12k with our burst. Eighteen K with our C two. Yep, twelve K with our burst. I saw it right there. Oh, we actually finished him off. Wow, what the heck? This is doing way more damage. We finished him off in one rotation, unlike the other builds. Wow, but we are losing quite a bit of energy recharge. That's the only thing, the energy recharge. Look at that, our ER is 105. Holy crap, that's smooth as heck. But that's gonna lead to the next point, the energy recharge. How efficient can you be with her burst uptime? Whatever build you decide, and however much energy recharge you decide, that's gonna determine your team. So you have to determine your team first, then you can choose your build. Just a friendly reminder, guys, to please like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. I like to make builds, showcases, and I'm going to be expanding on my content. So make sure you turn that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Make sure you follow the Twitch, guys, so that way you can be part of the chat that's right there in the top left corner. If not, that's okay. Stay a YouTube frog. But my Twitch frogs, they're there and they're pretty fun to be with. But anyways, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Please boost up the video so that way it reaches as many people as possible. And back to the video. Like if I'm using this build with like poor energy recharge, I want a battery like Shincho. For justice. Five star Shincho. <laughs> nah, screw that. No, you got Yelan. And then you have Shincho to support your DPS Yelan. That's what's going on. And then the other slots can be whatever the heck you want. You want to go for Vaporize? Do you want to go for Taser? Like if you just want to focus on like Yelan, we can put something like Shang Ling. I'll bring my seasonings. And Fischl. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. Once Cookie Shinobi comes out, we'll replace Fischl with Cookie. That way we can have more healing on this team. Masanori can barely handle a woman like Yelan. We gotta go test this damage on probably the Primo Bishop. Shadow. All right, I must thought we didn't make it, but yeah, I think we should start with Yelan, Shinsho, and then that way the Favonius particles feed into Yelan because we didn't get our burst back up. All those particles were basically wasted. Oh no, oh no, he has hydro resistance. All right, let's see how many rotations it's gonna take. We're just doing this for fun. Is 
Got him, boys. Oh. I think what killed them was because I had a shield. But that worked out. We got our, we got our ult back up. The Favonius weapons help. And that is with the suckiest energy recharge ever. 105. Let's go ahead and get rid of Official and switch to Raiden. What is the situation? But just let you know, Official slaps. But what also helps is that her freaking elemental skill lasts for like 25 seconds. So we can start off with that. And it's just more time that we can pour into our Yelan Burst. All right, guys. And because I have C6 Shinsho, Shinsho's elemental burst lasts for 18 seconds instead of 15. So we can go ahead and start off with his burst before Yelan's. And that's how we're going to do the rotation. Get him, Yelan. Get him, girl. Woo. See him? All right, so if we get rid of the national team or whatever, let's go ahead and switch to a vaporized Yelan team. If you wanted to just be focused on Yelan, I'm going to use the same team that I used for my DPS Mono video, which was Shangling, Benny, and Kazuboy. And now we got to wait for him to respawn. I know who we could kill. We can kill the freaking physical hypostasis. What's our vaporized damage looking like? Oops. I kind of messed up a little bit. Try against this guy. Like the little Barbie. Do this. Do 5k. Hopefully you reset the barb and then you fire the arrow. Oh, basically like that. Utilizing her break through barbs is that's what's important for vaporize. Elemental skill, her break through barbs, and then go hand with her burst. Pretty simple. The only thing about this team, if you're doing vaporize, that's when I suggest to switch up instead of the hybrid build, go to emblem. If she's gonna be the only hydro unit on the team, switch to the emblem build. Another team I want to add is a somewhat mono hydro team. You can partner Yelan with like Shinsho or Mona, and then an animal character like Kazuo or Venti. And the four slide can honestly be whatever the heck you want. There's just so many teams you can make with Yelan. Whatever I say in this video, honestly, it's just a template. Because at the end of the day, it's whatever the heck satisfies you the most. If you want to like utilize the maximum potential of Yelan, I think the two best teams it's gonna be Galon, of course, Raiden, Zhongli, and Kazuboy. A walk would be nice. This slot of Raiden can be also switched around with Mona because they're both gonna give you a lot of damage bonus. But if you want to utilize Yelan's kit of like all the different elements on one team to give her as much HP as possible, then Raiden is the choice. Zhongli for his shield. And the artifact set you want to go with is a fourth piece archaic Petra. And then Cosboy, because he's Cosboy. There's no need for me explaining what Cosboy does. So let me go ahead and show you this damage potential, this team, with a C6 Yelan. <laughs> Get freaking destroyed, my dude. Get absolutely destroyed. Holy crap. Make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.